Wow, they just start right next to me, huh? But it's fine, because I'm multi with double rebar puncher. The dumbest build. Known to builds. So this is a clip 7. I do have to, like, take a little bit of care. Why does my sensitivity feel really high? <laughs> well, let's go back down to 2. There you are. No, please stop. Oh, there's so many of you. All right, what do you got? Oh, wow. That's a great first item. That's exactly what I want to see. Like, if all of my green items were that, I would be okay with it. I, yeah, there are more characters on the way, I think. Uh, okay, so there's an update for this game this month. I don't know when. Because they haven't announced when. But there's an update literally this month, and I, I know it's big, and I think it includes a character. I could be incorrect about that. Uh, hello? I can't even see you. All right, buddy. Uh, they don't intend to fix the railgun thing, as far as I know. Honestly, it's the most fun way to play this boring character. <laughs> so, I would be pretty sad if they fixed it. Though, I mean, honestly, maybe by adding another, like, an alternate secondary, they'll make this character more interesting. Just, like, immediately. And, I mean, I guess your movement skill could be more interesting as well. I don't exactly like the, uh, the car, car strats. So, I mean, I don't know. I would be down with basically replacing this entire character with another character effectively by replacing your third or second and third skills. Multi is boar snore. Like it's unfortunate that the saw blade is like <laughs> so objectively not a good play but only a like kind of fun play sometimes. They don't have a date, do they? That's all I'm really interested in. No, no date. Okay. Of course I want to go. Yeah, I mean, but it, if they're releasing at the end of the month, that sucks. Because <laughs> I've, I've got Isaac to play at the end of the month. And this will just get sidelined. No, they're not going to fix the double rebar, most likely. Another moon donut. I swear, when you use a moon donut, you're more likely to get another one back. All right, I can have both. Wow, 
Wow. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a lucky boy. Getting the things that I need at the very start of the run. Where was this on Captain? I had to loop for Captain. Yes, now I can go win. Yeah, I mean, that's why this build is the most fun for this character, because it's really just aim, aim practice. Oh, there's a chest here. Alright, this is good for a while. I've gotten good items this level. I, I would not complain. Man, this is great. Next, this thing's gonna like give me a neural. Except that Neural wouldn't even be the best for him. Wow! It's really that easy. Now we just need always on... Oh, there's a health thingy there. Okay. Now we just need always on uh, Blast Shower. And <laughs> we're living a good life. Double Blast Shower, that is. I know, what a good first level. Should have done the Huntress Run instead. You're right, you don't need to give me good luck bits in this case. I already have them, apparently. Oops, I didn't even press that. I did not press my mouse to even like slightly. Okay, so let's go grab this. I mean, I don't know. This this would play like a pretty quick Huntress build. I I'd say this is pretty strong. I mean, yeah, I get more out of, like, this and this. Alright, so we still don't have good luck with this stuff. Don't need that. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't mind that, but, like, it's not worth it compared to having this and this. So we'll return to this this map, the bazaar. This morning I had this Spelunky uh, black market, Spelunky two black market uh, music stuck in my head, and it took me forever to figure out what it was. And I was like, oh duh, only the best song in Spelunky two. I mean, you could say multi is really slow, but like, honestly, compared to the existence of Acrid, nothing is slow. No, I'm probably gonna uh, play Borderlands today for the second half. Also, today will probably be a little short because I have somewhere to be. So I'll probably only do four hours today. Ish. I'm not being mean to Acrid, I'm just being honest. Acrid is really slow. Because Acrid's hitbox is extremely wide, you just can't dodge stuff that you can dodge with other characters by just existing and like moving. Acrid needs speed up to be functional.
I guess this build for multi would be pretty okay at uh, Eclipse 8 because of having uh... what is that that's not a blast shower uh, because of having really good sky garbage handling I guess honestly I would be mean about Acrid anyway because Acrid is just not very fun. See like as Acrid I would have gotten hit there. Even if I were sprinting. But no Acrid skills are not very fun. Nothing like the first game unfortunately. Yeah, you know, I would rather have two of those, honestly. Then I'm always healing. Yeah, Akron in the first game is super great, super fun, very functional, very satisfying. Where are you going, buddy? Like, Acrid is strong in this game. You'll win. But there's just, like, not good functional variety for being strong. That's good. Uh, as a number, how many rains are you risking right now? Uh, seven. As in the only risk of rain one character you can play in this game is Commando or like in risk of rain one? Because honestly, if you were saying Commando in risk of rain one, I would be surprised. Commando's decent. In Risk of Rain 1? Interesting. That's very surprising. So I take crit over bleed here. Bleed you can stack, but crit's probably going to get you a lot more, I would imagine. When's the next update? Sometime this month. That's all we got, though. All the others, you just die first stage. That's interesting. I mean, I feel that for a lot of characters. But, like... I don't know. I feel like Commando isn't the easiest, at least. I feel like Acrid is easy mode in the first game, honestly. And hard mode is like multi, or not multi, handy. Mercenary is also pretty good. You can follow a like, very formulaic playstyle and do well with Mercenary.
can beat the final boss at least half the time with Commando. I feel like I struggled at least a little bit with Commando. Ugh, get me out. Failed to get me out. Wow. Honestly, so when I did the eight quails on the final boss thing, that was really enjoyable and worked a lot better than I expected it to. I would be down to do that again. You know, I actually played the first Risk of Rain with controller. I feel like it was easier for that game. But that's just a me thing, maybe. Whereas this game, I can't imagine playing with controller. No, I was just using the quails to get far from the boss. So like, when you have eight quails, you jump and you fly 80 meters and you're just stuck with it. Which I thought would be like kind of a bad thing. Like, oh no, I'm locked into movement for 80 meters. But you're so fast doing it that you just get a lot of distance from the boss, even if you mess up like your timing for it, you just get far away. It works way better than I would have ever expected. I wish I had a tome. Though using the quails like that would be good for like, uh, loader. Totally. Three twelve. All right. When was the last time I got a cloak chest? I don't even know. It was quite a while ago. That doesn't mean they haven't been there. I just haven't noticed them. Oh, that's wonderful. Shattering Justice is a little hard to activate on this particular build. But when I do, it'll be great. I mean, you still see cloaked chests from the teleporter uh, locking chests, for example. So it's not like I wouldn't have seen a single one ever of the ones that may have spawned. I don't really need the movement speed. I'm gonna take the damage reduction. Just get a behemoth printer? Heck yeah, please. I wonder how much this adaptive chest costs. It's more than 312. It is 312. Okay. I didn't know they were the same price. Is that a focus crystal? Yeah. Whoops. I mean, now's a good time to get back into this game because it's getting updated soon. Get back in practice before, you know, they hit you with the stuff. Metaplane. Thank you for the prime sub, friend. Thanks so much for, you know, using your free sub on me. I appreciate the support. Welcome. Wow, there's so many. Okay. Now let's hit it up. How could I say no? <laughs> also, people think the Doom DLC would be like this month, but they haven't announced anything about that yet, have they? So I guess maybe it's not.
Yo, thank you, Metaplane. Maybe playing Doom Eternal again for the DLC would motivate me to start trying to learn Ultra Nightmare for uh, Doom 2016. I still think about it. I'm still like, eh, but then I'm like, wait, but what if it's really easy? Because even when I was playing it for the first time, I was like, honestly, this doesn't seem that bad to do Deathless once you know the game. Hmm, that would be a good white item for me. If there's a scrapper on this level, I would start... I would start the process there. Getting me some nice, uh, sticky bombs. Because I also have some decent stuff that I wouldn't want to lose. Man, maybe if I played on, like, 69 sensitivity... That's, uh, yeah, predatory. I could handle all of these spawning in a circle around me, but, like, that's just rude. What if they didn't spawn in a circle around me and instead spawned in, like, a relative, like, uh, I don't know, 90-something degrees? Oh. Uh, let's go for the um, bazaar again. And, like, I played Doom 2016 entirely with the weapon wheel. Doing it with not the weapon wheel now, like, doing it with um, actual hotkeys, just poured it over from Eternal. I would do so much better. It would be so much easier. <laughs> and it was already, again, not that difficult for me. So, like, I don't know. Ultra Nightmare looking pretty possible. That was so easy. This build is so busted. Is that a chest or what? It is. Okay, I'll get that. When I've got everyone on Eclipse 8 and thus don't want to play Eclipse anymore, I mean, honestly, I'm about to have so many characters at Eclipse 8 that I actually will do like half regular runs and half Eclipse runs. So much menuing. Uh, gosh, it's going to be so weird and easy going back to regular runs. <laughs> like, Eclipse is just... So right. Would Ultra Nightmare be fun to watch, though? Like, I kind of don't like watching hardcore attempts of stuff all that much. Though I guess with Doom, it's like honestly just kind of like a speedrun. Because it's not going to take that long to be Doom 2016 on Ultra Nightmare. I probably wouldn't do 100%. I would just have a route for like what upgrades I need and stuff. Which is why I would play through it on regular Nightmare again. Just to see like what, what stuff I need and what stuff I don't need. Maybe they'll let you choose an Eclipse level after this update? Yeah, that could be. Doom Eternal, though, way too hard. <laughs> Never gonna do that one. What, why can't Transcendence just appear once, ever? <laughs> it's, it's not, like, so much to ask, is it?
Well, got Sundered Grove anyway, so that's good news. But yeah, like hardcore stuff that is, I guess, more long form. Like, the only stuff I've really given a lot of time to are Borderlands and um, Terraria. I don't really want to watch the early game. I only want to watch, like, once a run is established. But with something like Doom, it really is just, like, kind of a speed run for the most part. A run's not going to take that long. You can do it in one stream if you're completing it. Like, even if you take your time, you do it in one stream if you're completing it. So it would definitely be a little different. Oh, hello. Well, after Doom Eternal, Doom 2016 is going to feel like snail speed. Another reason that I think it would not be that bad. So there's another sticky bomb printer here, which means that I would be down once again to trade away a lot of my white items for sticky bombs, provided I get a scrapper. Is this where the blast shower begins? No. Honestly, that's a solid pickup for this build. Oh, that's pretty good. But I kind of like my big Healy boy plays. There's the scrapper. All right. Guess we're getting a lot of sticky bombs in a little bit here. Oh my gosh, they're all fire. Well, I guess that really is the thing to remember about this map. Is that everyone's cheap and the director can do whatever it wants with them, basically. Unlimited power. Oh, another scrapper. Wow, I'm powerful. Did it just summon one? That's surprising. Oh, I must go. I'm not about to deal with that. Sorry, friend. Not here this time. So I guess it's probably on the lower level. Mountain Shrine. Slightly concerning with how this level goes. Letting people build up a little more than I should, probably. <clears throat> Attack speed literally doesn't affect this build, which is cool. That's just another item for me to trade away. Sticky Bomb's going to be really good for us, for the boss. All 
All right, to the bottom level. <laughs> that activates the bands. Classic. Oh, okay, I'll begin the process. Okay, there's the red chest. Oh, this is a different layout. This isn't the thing with the stuff. <laughs> this isn't the tall one with the opening. Yo, thank you, Hazeling. I'll definitely have enough money by doing the teleporter event. So I'll just doing the teleporter event. Oh. Yeah, this is why you you don't mess. Oh, frick. Okay, so we're gonna do this nice and slow. Which honestly isn't that concerning. Like, this'll be fine. Because of the build that I'm using. Oh, whoops. Alright, they're not both the same item anymore. But the enemy spawns, they really are very this map. Okay, this guy can't hurt me. Gunner turret. Okay, so we're gonna scrap like a bunch of junk on this level. West of Wizard, thank you for the nine month sub. Congrats on the sub, baby. Thank you very much, friend. Holy moly. I, I gotta deal with this. So I'm gonna leave one of those so I can scrap the other one and still have one. Oh, it was tier two, I'm sorry. And you're the extra support as well. <laughs> you gotta enjoy those, those dumb, dumb emotes. They're so good. Thank you, thank you. Are spawns really that absurd on this map? Yeah, okay, so this map, all of the enemies are low cost to the director, so it just spams them all a lot. Like, all the time. Even the bosses are low cost. So, like, that was one mountain shrine. And I got five of that boss. At a relatively normal time for being at this level, you know? So yeah, basically spawns are insane because this level, everything is, it costs free. <laughs> it, it is just worthless to the director.
I was I was concerned about that. Uh, I don't need you. Man, I can get rid of so much junk. Uh, I don't need you either. Sorry, I'm not even going in order here. Well, I assume that the intended balancing factor for the scrapper is that you're, like, not supposed to... Like, you don't get things as quickly because it's supposed to take up your precious time. It's just that time doesn't matter. <laughs> ah, this game's really hard. There's a lot of learning involved. So I'm, I'm straight up going to take 15 of these. And hopefully I can get another Blast Shower. Hopefully I also get Transcendence. Because if I don't get Transcendence, my plan has kind of fallen apart to an extent. Don't get stickied by Mithrix. Yeah, I mean, that would suck. So we're at what? 75% proc chance. It's good stuff. Oh, I didn't get this. Maybe it's another sticky bomb. It sure is. Make that 80%. What does double blast shower do? So blast shower removes the cooldown from your bands on use since they're in the like debuff bar, buff and debuff bar. And they count as a debuff. So if I have two of them, I'm able to uh, take full advantage of controlling when I proc bands, which for this build is every attack. Bro, I'm so unlucky. However, this this is a mitigating factor. I don't need another one of those, and I don't need any of those. Yo, Samwise, thank you for the 24 months sub. Congrats on the new badge. Why don't you have 50 glass yet? Well, you see, that would be bad. Yeah, that stage is new. Uh, that I was just on. The it, it was on Stadia first, and then they brought it to the PC version later. Right, I have a different uh, third skill now. Got to remember that. It's a blast shower. It's this use item. The backpack. Five thirty-three. All right. So I know that they're... 
All right, that guy's there, but I just didn't need to deal with it. Oh, hello. Wow. It is of great importance that this thing dies. Water dead. Jeez. They just don't end. Crit's good. Oh, we got that back. Maybe I should kill this. Missiles are good, but I kind of need healing. I mean, Creon's also good, but again, <laughs> kind of need healing. Okay, I think it's time that we mount our final stand against this nerd. And I mean, as cool as healing drones are, and I'll buy it and all, they're not really all that valuable, especially in the Mithrix fight. Or I faked it, maybe the uh, two months up. Is this a streamer? Nah. But thank you very much for the, for the support. Welcome back. 16 gestures, that's a lot of gestures. I feel like I do not need 16 of them. Ah, there's my scrapper, beautiful. Is true classic lunar pods. Another scrapper, all right. I think multi hits everything with the hammer, personally. What if other enemies spawned? I've only fought like two enemies after the start of this level where I fought like four enemies.
Yeah, I'm working on the backpack meta. Four of these is nice. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Oh well, let's check this stuff out. Yep, of course. The classic. Yeah, I, I've been losing Lunar Coins pretty consistently for a while. Higher Eclipse levels, you start spending a lot more than you start saving. But I peaked around 550. You guys leave me alone. You're hurting me. Classic. Ooh, that's a teleporter location I don't know if I've seen before. What if you could pay Mythrix Lunar Coins to just leave? <laughs> I might be down with that. Yet another scrapper. Let's do it. Then we'll go back, scrap some stuff. Hope for the best. Must you? Wow, this sucks. I hate it here already. Okay, they're dead. They're dead. Let me in. Oh, one of my healing drones died. I just don't care. My healing is kind of lacking, though. I will freely admit this. Actually, I think I bought two healing drones. So two, two of my three friends are dead.
Get some creativity, director. Apparently this is actually just going to be back and forth. Mushroom. Wisp. Mushroom. Wisp. Cease. You don't have to do anything to spam double rebar. You just have to hold. It's just holding two keys. Bro, where even? Oh, hello. I know, freaking Patrick mushrooms. Seven, eight. Can I get rid of two more green items though? Nine. Yeah, I can get to 10. How many whites did I get to? Five? It would be cool if I could... Yeah, okay, I'll just give this up. I'm not sure about this winning, but... Eh, who really cares? Oh, all my drones are dead. That's fine. I don't really care. I used my mouse hand for that. <laughs> when do you think they will add healing and blight elites back in? Hopefully never, yeah. Uh, those suck. Those are just not, not fun. I guess I didn't really mind blights, but they added close enough to blights already. Healing ones though, bad. Missile ones, bad. <laughs> just leave them out. We don't need them. I was going to say, am I out of range? Is there actually a range limit here? Cool. Okay, buddy. He's going pretty well.
We should, yeah, we can get back from the island, no problem. He just jumped off. I didn't have anything to do with that. There's still two more of them, though. Oh, oh, you almost made it off. Whoops. Well, that was a waste. Having to press all these mouse keys at once gets a little confusing. I have to bend my thumb in weird ways. I wonder how many miles of rebar multi uses on any given run. They should have that as a stat. Show me something good in there. Pretty please. Aegis. Is that clover? No, that's vultures. Lame. Oh, but we get we get birds again. Is that a clover? No. But actually, that's very worth. <laughs> uh, just to make sure, I'll take two of it. But I just want to make sure there's nothing else. And, you know, there's really not. That is, in fact, Wake of Vultures. All right, honestly, I'm very safe this way. <laughs> yeah, five birds is movement. The feather? As in the actual feather? Let's jump up. Oh, look who it is. Why am I even opening the rest of these? I don't care anymore. <laughs> the red item. This isn't the feather. I, I just don't know what you mean. Any options in the soup? The Aegis, I guess? Not very useful in 9 out of 10 situations. I'm gonna hide from that. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a new one. Oh, I know why that happened. Never mind. This might not count. I might have to go back down. Nope, we good. I mean, if you're playing Rex for healing, 
like with your healing skills, you're full health like every other frame. Like, in fact, all the time. I mean, yeah, I would never use Rex's uh, non-damaging third skill, but all of Rex's other skills are fine. Like the Seed Rain, that one's just straight up better. Rex's rain is definitely better than his other skill. It's less risk for way more reward. Ah, oh, I missed. You realize that, like, Rex's fourth skill works real well with it? Lots of enemies don't move enough that that matters anyway. You don't have to use it. Rex can do a primary only build really easily. Oh, I'm in a bad place. Cool. Like, I don't know, just as far as options are concerned, it's just way, way safer and more useful more potential output. No, strong disagree. On Eclipse, the other one's way less useful too. Like, they are both equally as useful or not useful as they are on non-Eclipse. Well, not being able to use the other one on Eclipse 8 doesn't matter, because it's worse. This build is so stupid. <laughs> Arrow Rain's pretty good. It's an option. In that case, yeah, it's not better. But it's still very good. But the two aren't really comparable because, yeah... Arrow Rain isn't the clear choice, but Seed Rain is, like, clearly better. Arrow Rain's a lot of fun, though. Good skill.
Because it's about how you use it, not about the numbers. Yo, Clex, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you so much for your generous join, uh, as you often do. Oh, have I done the thing where I'm going to have that in the menu now? Oops. Yeah, it rains on that level. Welcome, Clex. Good to see you. Uh, that was Eclipse 7, so Multi's up to Eclipse 8 now. 